Okay, we'll talk a little bit about the chassis float, chassis to body float. We hinted at it a little bit in the first video, had some great comments, and so I thought I'd uh, follow up on those. One of the comments was that, that I shouldn't have to loosen um, the, uh, the floater nuts, these brass nuts here, with the design, with the, uh, with the shoulder um, of the nut fitting inside the, the chassis plate here, that even when they're tightened down, that you should get some float and you should the thing is I'm not and why is that well I just started inspecting it and about the only thing I could see was uh, perhaps I felt it was maybe a few burrs were left behind on the chassis here so I just took my exacto knife went around here as you can see right there the shininess here I've scraped away some of the anodized coating but that's okay I was just trying to clean it you could use some thousand grit and clean this out too and then uh, it seems now that I have a lot more uh, it's, a, it's a lot smoother better movement however you're still not going to get a whole lot and we'll take a photo here just so you know um, you put uh, you have this installed and you have it tightened down there is not a lot of, of float action there that's all you're gonna get so you're not gonna get a lot but you should get some now the other issue is that this has never happened to me and it's not a case with these cars but you know it could be but I can't see it if it is but some people have reported that this part here, I am on other cars mostly, that it's slightly bent. If it's bent either way, but especially in or out, and it's not aligned perfectly with the holes on the chassis, when you install the screw with the with the nut, it's going to bind. So therefore you're not going to get any float. Well the answer is you get a hold of Revislar the dealer and you get a new plate because you'll never bend this back perfectly and this is just from feedback from uh, folks online that I've already you know that I've read that I've heard about this is not the case for mine it seems to be aligned pretty well but I did clean up those holes so you can try doing that but if that doesn't give you enough float then you loosen it like I showed in the first video quarter turn half turn loosen it up just depends on your your track conditions, your driving style. If you want a little bit more float, then you're just going to have to loosen it like I showed. But no, technically you shouldn't have to, but there's a lot of things we shouldn't have to in this hobby. Another factor about attaining some float with these cars is uh, that they are different than the releases before it. Here's a, a Toyota I've had. Very nice car. And as you can see, one, two, three, four those screws are isolated on this front chassis plate so you can tighten these four screws down and secure the body to the chassis you tighten them all the way down and if the body you know if the floater nuts are clear and everything's working the way it should you should have float and you can see it the movement and hear it so there you go you can see that moving around it works just like it's supposed to work well on these cars the design is a bit different I guess they felt they couldn't go all the way with that with just one plate so they split it up you have these two screws here holding the rear plate in and then these two screws here are mounting you know to, to, to the front part well if you tighten this these two screws all the way you'll get no float at all you'll lock it down so I backed them off about a half turn and that's how I have the float that I do in this car the movement that I do because I loosened this up these are tight but I had to loosen these if you tighten these down which I will show you if you tighten these down all the way and like I said about well, maybe three quarters of a time then that's it there's nothing I'm forcing it see I'm forcing it to move just to flex that's not float so I'll back it back off a little bit there 
and that's how there we go now I have float and that's why the car ran as smooth as it did in uh, in the video so just a design change it's uh it's an odd one but you know you're just gonna have to to loosen these screws a little bit if you're worried about them backing out the rubber cap uh, keeps them in place I haven't uh, I put quite a few laps on this already haven't noticed anything otherwise you can take some uh, tape if you want to and tape over them make sure they don't come loose but anyway that's the differences with the body float I hope it helps you and just to recap after I cleaned out those holes look at that have me a little float so I don't have to loosen these I'm gonna see how it compares to the other car it could stand a little bit more float in some track conditions for some people but I think that'll be enough for my smaller track so success that's what the problem was so you don't have to back off those screws and again these two screws here for this plate are tightened down all the way and these are backed off so I can have the float so looks pretty good to me we'll give it a road test but at least uh, we got this cleaned up and it's working like it should